So, checking out my uh, Super XL 130 here, this porting work we're going to do. And I got the base gasket off. I rechecked my numbers, and the difference is extremely minute. That's because the base gasket was only sitting at 15 thousandths. And at 15 thousandths, it hardly makes a difference on a degree wheel. Uh, so, basically going to stick with my original numbers, except the squish would be reduced by, I wouldn't say 15 thousandths, because i got to add something in there for you know, the base cask. I'm going to have to put some moto seal in there. So I'm expecting about two thousandths there. So we'll subtract 13 thousandths from the original squish. But there's some decisions to make here. So I'm thinking I'm going to show you kind of some of these decisions I got to make on this build. I have not made up my mind in what direction I'm going to go at all yet. But I do have some decisions to make. Um, one thing I can say is the piston that I'm going to use, or the one that I have currently installed, I should say, is out of a Super XL Auto. And it gave me the exact same numbers. So I think that a Home Light Super XL Auto piston is an exact match. I mean, I put it in and my numbers are exactly the same. So I'd say we got a match there. But I may not use this piston in this build. I have another one coming. We might use that one. We're going to check the numbers on it because, you know, why not? We'll see which one fits better, you know? But let me show you some of these decisions I got to make. All right, let me get this cylinder back off. And just let me get you in here so you can see. All right. All right. So one of the things we got to sort out here is the transfer. So the bottom of the transfer is already port matched with the uh, crankcase. So if I wanted to go further here, I would also have to do it in the crankcase as well. And I'll show you that in a second. Another thing here is the top side of the transfers up here. That is, as best I can tell, that is a 90 degree angle. It is not sloped at all. So I got to decide if I want to stick with that or if I want to change it. Now, any changes I do up there are going to be some of the most difficult changes I could make in this build. But that is one decision, another decision I got to make. Now, let me show you in the crankcase here. So, you can see here, you see this line? That's where the gasket was sitting. But I actually measured it. And the edge here does meet with the edge of the transfer. So if I want to remove more, I literally have to take more out of the crankcase as well. You kind of see down in there, what would it require? Now here's the other side. So you can also see down here, there's a kind of a transition to make. I could do something about that as well. I do have a few decisions here I gotta make. Now, one of the things I could do on transfers is do something that they call finger porting. Or I could leave it alone at the top edge of the transfer and just do, you know, the, the part between the cylinder and the, and the uh, crankcase. But 
but I haven't made up my mind on how much. I haven't made up my mind on which direction I'm gonna go, how I'm gonna make it flow, uh, my shapes, or anything. I haven't made up my mind on any of that stuff. I'm at 100 and, 117 degrees of transfer timing. I'm going to think for think on this for a little while because I haven't made up my mind on how I'm going to do this. See, like right now, I'm coming up at like 105, 100, 105 and a half, 100 and some five and a half, roughly. Well, my exhaust opening now. So the base gas didn't affect it a whole lot. Let me look here. Double check my blow down. From there it came up with 17 degrees. I think the first time I was coming up at 18. I don't know. I'm going to think about this for a while. Post a comment and tell me what you think. I have an idea which way I'm headed. Got a good idea. But uh, let me know what you think. Alrighty. To the next one. We should be grinding on the next video. So. Alrighty. Y'all have a good night. See you on the next one. Later.